When I first started playing Fortnite with my son, one of the first things I noticed as a physics teacher was the cannons. I don't know if you know this about physics teachers, but we love shooting things out of cannons, right? And part of that is because we love teaching about projectile motion, things flying through the air. And so we launch cows out of cannons and we launch, you know, cannons off of cliffs and we try to shoot monkeys with stuff. These are all like classic problems in physics, believe it or not. And so when I saw that you can actually climb into a cannon and launch yourself out of it, I immediately began wondering whether the projectile motion rules built into Fortnite actually follow those in the natural world. And so that's what this lab is all about. We're going to try to collect the data that we need to analyze projectile motion and see if it's actually following the real laws of physics. To do that, we actually have a really simple experimental setup. I've got a cannon set up in the middle of the island, and on top of the cannon is just a little marker so that no matter how far away you are from that cannon, you can look back at the cannon and it tells you the distance in meters, all right? You can climb into the cannon and then you can point at various angles. And we've been able to use UEFN to actually like code into the game to present you with the angle that you're, you're aimed at, which I think is pretty sweet. So the challenge here is to launch yourself at various launch angles and see how far you go, right? Record that data and compare it to what you would predict based on the equation for the range of a projectile. Right? And we're going to actually see how close the actual distances in Fortnite are to those of an ideal projectile. Now, the equation that I gave you is based on a scenario where there is no air resistance. Now, we've talked about air resistance in other labs. And so there's an interesting question we could ask about whether air resistance is playing a role in this projectile motion uh, case or not. That's something you're going to have to figure out by looking at, at the data. But the first question is just to say, is Fortnite even close? Are we even are we even following this equation at all? And because uh, because we don't have to be, and maybe it's more fun if we don't. So I'm going to ask you to collect that data, and I hope uh, you enjoy what you discover. <laughs> 